Coffee! Yeah! Well, we're over here in the... Uh, where are we? Oh, Talladega? Lincoln, Alabama. So we ended up getting unloaded last night. <clears throat> well, yesterday. Right in Atlanta. We found a load that picked up in Birmingham. Just a little bit of deadhead, you know. Which was get out of Atlanta, you know, type of deal. And that was fun. You know, about 5.30, 5.45 on the 2.85, you know. On the way to pick up a load of Sterilite, nice and light. Going to Miami, two stopper in Miami, and they were given a pretty fair rate. So, so we took it. It's a 12 o'clock pickup. It's 9:30 right now. I'm about 50 miles away. cruise on down there and see what happens it's an open delivery for tomorrow so it won't be that bad I'm gonna try to get I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to make it to the house tonight I already talked to my wife and she says she's gonna come up and hang out tonight so but I gotta get close as I can anyway so but it all kind of depends on what happens here you know I'm just gonna try to get back over to I-20 here I-20 West. It's about another 40 miles on, on I-20. A couple little back roads here and there. And we're there. I was reading the Google reviews about the place. Where are you at? I see. There you are. About the place. And there was a whole bunch of mixed, mixed reviews. Like everything from this is the greatest place ever to avoid at all costs. <laughs> so some people left comments and, and said that they've seen all the bad comments and you know they were in and out of there in a decent time so we'll see what happens but now we've been tr just trying to find something to get out of Miami I already made a couple phone calls this morning and you know, like one load, it was a load of pallets. And he said it was 27,000 pounds or something like that. And I questioned him on that because I've always picked up empty pallets and they've always been over 35,000, you know. Unless it's not a full load, you know. I know you ain't gonna get the best rates coming out of Miami, but you know, I, I did good going in. And just like everyone else, you wanna do good going out, but I mean that's not that may not happen. So they had load that load of pallets coming out of Miami. And like the average was 540, 545 for that lane. And it was only going like 300 miles, you know, which would possibly could be 
you know, picked up and delivered the same day. So I gave him a rate, <clears throat> excuse me, I gave him a rate like 650, and I knew he was gonna talk me down. And he goes, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. He says that uh, they're at the, he said, yeah, I can only do 400. I was like, 400, come on, man. And we kind of back and forth a little bit. I was like, you, you gotta come up a little bit, man. And then you try to give him, well, the average is 550, man. Yeah, well, we're only paying this. I was like, well, so you'll get, maybe you'll get some cheapo that wants to pay it. You know, we'll take it. But, you know. Oh, man, this ought to be good. Oh, you slow down. Ooh. So I told him, I was like, I couldn't go no lower than 550. And that was, that was, you know, probably too low at that. But he said, no, he couldn't, he could do 425. And I said, well, if you could do 425, you could do 475. And he, he wouldn't budge, so. I said, that's cool, just keep on looking and keep on calling. anyway because today is Tuesday and I would like to be home this weekend's Father's Day so I'd like to be home you know Friday Saturday at the latest you know stay home Saturday Sunday Monday come back out Tuesday so I already started out the week with the with the decent paying load, so now we just gotta keep it going. So, so we may have to get something maybe like from Miami, maybe back up to Georgia, then Georgia back down. You know, but we'll find out. You know, we'll see what happens. We'll make it work. Let's get on down here and see if we can get picked up. Times this happens in Atlanta. Man, we cruise right through and I don't even think I slowed down. Oh, well, now that I say that, it always slows down over here when you get on the 75. Oh, look at the plane the tail. <laughs> track meet up with my wife tonight about I think we're oh I'm in the wrong lane I eh, forget we're gonna stay right here um, just 
a little less than 400 miles. If you know where Bushnell is, there's a Loves there, exit 314. Oh, another plane taking off. I'm gonna be there kind of late. But she was all good to come up and hang out, so I'm freaking, I'm ecstatic about that. That's awesome. And we got a load coming out of Miami going back up to Jacksonville, which is gonna be cool because it was a open pickup. I think it said it had to be picked up by five or six, something like that. So that works out great. pick up in Miami well actually it was in Doral but you know it's like right on the outskirts of Miami you might as well just say Miami deliver up in Jacksonville the next day oh I'm about to be that guy ah oh, why'd you come over dude That guy waits till the last second. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. We're just going to stop right here. Come on, people. thing on the side but you gotta go you gotta go all through the settings and everything and turn the volume down just a pain in the butt sometimes that's why I, <laughs> sometimes it's just quicker just to turn it off like I've done before it's like okay I don't need you for a while <laughs> but basically once I get through all this crap you don't really need it uh, I don't know what's so hard about 75 South. Just stay there. Don't get off until you get to your exit. Oh, I hear a plane. Where's it at? There it is. It's yellow. Which one's that? Spirit? Oh, man. Let me fight through this. We'll check in a little bit. enough time so like I said next best thing she comes to me so we're probably gonna 
probably going to get there when I got three hours and 20 minutes to drive. So we'll probably get there with about, I say about 45 minutes left on my clock. I mean, it drove through some crazy rain earlier. And I stopped for a little while, like so we, me and Leah went for a little walk. And the rain was starting to catch up to us. You can hear it in the background, thunder, and you can see the lightning in the distance. I was like, oh man, I better get going. We gotta get out of here. So we'll probably be over over there about probably close to 11 o'clock, which is gonna kind of suck. It's gonna be worth hanging out with my wife and my daughter for a little while. All the other kids are at camp, and my oldest is she had to stay back because she was too old to go to camp so stay home with mom now we can stay in front of this rain and we'll be all right so what's it say tampa 207 miles oh man we'll end this one here we'll catch up tomorrow once we get into Miami get these uh, get these totes delivered we'll see what happens because this is going to be this could be an interesting one this is supposed to be a two stopper if you remember oh, more lightning this is supposed to be a two stopper and uh and he said on the Raycon, it said two stops, 18 pallets, nine at one stop and nine at the other. So when they, uh, they gave me my bills and everything and there was only bills for one stop and it said 19 pallets all to the first stop. So I called up the broker before I left and, and he's, he's telling me that 18 pallets go to this place and one pallet goes to the other place. I said, well, I don't have bills for the other place. He's like, well, they won't need it. Well, yeah, they will. I've never gone anywhere. Oh yeah, sure, you can drop this off. You got no bills. So I kind of, kind of inside, I'm hoping I'm going to get to this place and uh, they're just going to take all 19 pallets. <laughs> and I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to leave, then I'll call and be like, hey, they said they were going to take all nine pallets, all 19 pallets. So. We'll see what happens. Oh gosh, more lightning. We'll see what happens. Like, like I said, I, like I won't, I won't get up here till like eleven. That means I won't be able to start driving till like nine. So we probably won't get over to Miami till like probably like around two o'clock, which is going to be interesting because the other pickup has to be picked up before 5 o'clock. So whenever I get to this place, I ain't got time to play around. So, but that's tomorrow. I ain't gonna worry about that till tomorrow, so. So let's get on down here. We're gonna end this day. Be done. Hang out with the wife and my daughter. So, uh, we'll catch up to you guys next time.